Now, Louise, we found out this week that the King hosts an annual secret awards night for MI5 spies. Now, for me, that is just too good to be true. Can you tell us what this is about? Isn't it a great story? I love this story. Um, apparently he does host the Spy Oscars, um, which has been going since 2012. Who knew? Well, of course, none of us, because it's all very secretive, such as the nature of being a spy in the UK and probably anywhere else in the world. But it, it's an opportunity at the um, MI5 Awards for those who work in the shadows, who really, who, you know, are stopping terror attacks and huge drug industries and so forth and protecting Brits and probably by virtue the rest of um, from the Western world as well. And they're actually getting some recognition for that work. They're not the sort of people who can't, can go to the palace and get an OBE or an MBE from the king because their work is so secretive. They literally have to stay in the shadows. But it's great to see they are being recognised for their great work. And not just the spies per se, but also the whole support network, the people who do the catering, the interpreters and everything. And I, I just love this story. I think it's fantastic that Charles is emerging himself in that world and wouldn't that be a great dinner to go to can you imagine the stories it would just be fascinating I think it's absolutely fabulous now last Sunday we were tuned into the Danish proclamation very different from the royal coronation last year and and probably a bit more akin to Charles ascension to the throne after the Queen passed away while it was more subtle it wasn't without its memorable moments and the footage of Queen Margrethe signing her abdication papers and then leaving the room, I found incredibly moving. Angela, what a moment. It was a moment, wasn't it, Caroline? I'm, I'm with you on that one. I think it's because we don't generally see monarchs abdicate anymore. They they tend to die and their, and their heir takes the space. So to, so to see the simplicity of this as well, I think after seeing the King's coronation, the British King's coronation, uh, just the previous year, with all the pomp and splendour of that, to see this woman dressed very simply, her son, her grandson, and then to turn away and just to walk out that door, even with... Um, Prince, uh, well, the new king, King Christian, his back to his mother. It's a reminder that, you know, that people, when they move away from these roles, they have given so much of themselves, so much duty, so much service. And I think it's what is exciting, though, is to think of the Queen's trust and Prince, Princess Mary, Mary, now Queen Mary, and the fact that she feels very uh, secure in passing that job on to, obviously, someone who's come from our shores. It was absolutely divine to watch.